What do you get if you cross a portable AM radio, 8 ESP32s with some wire solder to them, and two excited little kids? A really fun and unique easter egg hunt. A few weeks ago I was using the AM radio to find an issue with my robot lawnmower's boundary wire, and my youngest daughter, who has absolutely no context to what a portable radio is, decided it was a tracker like you might see in cartoons. With Easter coming up, this kicked my head into gear. How could I turn this into an actual tracker for the egg hunt? Radio is typically broadcast over hundreds of miles. How would it be possible to place multiple transmitters in just my backyard? Who would design a transmitter that is so bad that they wouldn't clash with each other? My God, that's bit loony music. But in all seriousness, I remembered Bitlooney made a really impressive video a few years back where he created an AM transmitter using just an ESP32 and some wire for the antenna. And while it obviously is not the best transmitter in the world, this was actually a major benefit for the project. Bitlooney's project page even contained a tool to convert the audio files to headers that could just be included in the sketch. So the plan was to place multiple of these transmitters out in the garden and each one would broadcast a clue for where to find the next one. I have two sisters who currently live abroad and we thought it might be an extra bit of fun to get them involved. So I got them and one of their partners to record the clues. I'm tall but spiky leaves. They sent them on via voice message on WhatsApp, and I just used Audacity to convert them to WAV files for Bitlooney's tool. Do you recognize the voice though? Yeah. Who's the voice? Sarah! Then all I needed to do was solder wire to 8 ESP32s and program them. I just used these D1 Mini style ESP32s because I have a bunch of them. For the antenna wire, I used some CAT6 cable because I had some lying around, although it was a bit of a pain to untangle the pairs. A future improvement for this project could be to make it so you can change the audio data after programming, maybe via a web page on the ESP32. This would be useful because you could just program all the ESP32s to be the same and then add the file that they should play afterwards. But I made this project on Easter Saturday night, so I didn't have time to do anything fancy like that. To power the ESP32s, I just used a bunch of power banks I had left over from the wedding lights project that, surprisingly after six years of sitting in a drawer, they still worked. So I just connected them via micro USB. The ESP32s only need to be powered for a few minutes though, so you could really power them off almost anything. So how did it go? For the clues, I was a bit worried right at the start that they seemed to be struggling with the first one. So what did you say? Normally, I'd be at the beach, but now I'm in a turtle. Where could that be? At the beach. Well, what's at the beach? A turtle. No, what else is at the beach? There's lots of this at the beach. Sand. So normally it'd be at the beach, but now it's in a turtle. What could that be? But once they got into it, they flew through them. From the technical side of things, it also worked pretty well. Definitely good enough. None of them malfunctioned or anything, so that was good. But it did seem like some of them were a little easier to hear than others. What does it say? Oh, looking a little fishy on this mountain. Fishy on the mountain? Yeah! One of my sisters recorded the messages on their phone while waiting for a plane to take off. It was sent via WhatsApp, transmitted on the most basic of AM transmitters to a 10 euro portable radio. So it can't be too surprising that the audio quality wasn't amazing. The kids had a blast though, and that was the main thing. This was really easy to set up because I just used Bitlooney's project exactly as was. Unlike most of my projects, I actually didn't have to write a single line of code for this. Other than writing the clues and asking my sisters to record them, I only started the project after the girls went to bed the night before. I think I spent more time trying to figure out how to get the audio files from WhatsApp and convert them than any other part of the project. If you're looking for something fun and a little bit different for the next easter egg or treasure hunt, I can definitely recommend this. I only used parts I already had here so I'm not sure of an exact cost, but maybe allow $10 for each ESP32 and some way to power them, 
and then maybe another $10 for the radio. So overall, not too expensive. Now that I found the upload button, I hope to see you again soon. Slon.